Hello and welcome to this short tutorial. I've been asked how I made the exterior like in the video about the openings and the same exterior you can see here. This is the lower one and I combined it uh, with two different exteriors. I would like to show how I made it. It is really simple. If you know where you have to uh, search for the functions. Uh, there are also already videos about the exterior of the walls on the channel from Steven Ledger and Steven Ledger is the creator of this beautiful add-on um, I will post a link to his channel in the video description Okay, I am using the Ashipak version uh, 2.4.0 and the Blender version 3.0.0 and at first I would like to uh, delete everything to make uh, the whole uh, stuff from scratch. Okay, let's delete it. I suggest you delete uh, the objects by using this function, delete objects. We make a new wall. I would like to choose this one. So now is our wall ready and we can begin to make the exterior to it. I will put out my light. One more time I have to select my wall and now I am changed to the top finish. In the top finish press this plus button and now I have um, the option finish here and I give it a new name. F1. Now I'm going to open the menu of this finish and I have to choose the materials. Concrete, stucco, matte paint, white. Okay, I would like to give to it the material random walnut. I have it not here. That's why I'm going to the library of the Archipack. And here I have this material I would like to choose and I make this append, uh, this button, I have to press it. After I press this button, I have this material in my menu, I can select it now. Here it is. So now I have to choose the type of the cladding. In our case, this has to be wood cladding and we choose also the material. This is the main material or this one is the mortar. This material is behind the main material. That's why we should also uh, select it. For the case we don't want to see through our uh, boards and see behind them some concrete or something like this. That's why we choose also here a random walnut. And then we have to go down here and in the outside we have to choose F1. Okay, in the case you have such a problem, you have this cladding in the, on the inside of the wall. You can go and make the next move. You go to the main and you flip in and out. Now you have the material outside but it doesn't look like at the beginning of the video we have to make some adjustments therefore we go back to the finish and we see that our cladding is a little bit uh, wrong now we have to make another rotation 90 degrees confirm and then we have to change the length of this boards I would like to choose 0.2. Now you can see we have we have already this uh, boards in this way. So okay, now we have to make them a little bit thicker and add the groot. This option is important, and we make a depth to um, this one and you can still see 
through the cladding and see behind it the concrete this uh, material of the wall and we have to avoid, avoid it by giving bigger thickness like this and now you have the material like you like you wanted to get so okay now we can add the another material just right about it on the top um, to do so we have to make the altitude um, no altitude uh, have, has to be the same but the height we will restrict by one meter okay okay now we make 1.5 1.5 meters looks a little bit better good now um, we have to add the next um, finisher to this wall and for this case we have to minimize this and we press one more time this plus button and now we have this option we open it and we give the new altitude where we have to start at 1.5 meters because another cladding this cladding stops at 1 point meter and this has to be our new start for our new cladding one point meter it means we start here and go about it okay um, press enter for the high we can use two meters So now we need also choose a material, also random walnut in my case, but you can also choose a bricks or what you like, what you have added from the library. You can also edit like we did it uh, before. So now we have this random walnut and we would like to have, for example, windmill. Uh, we have to also give it a name the same name it is important we give it the same name yes and now we have this windmill cladding but you see you can see the another material from the from the wall we have there you can look through our cladding we make it the same way to avoid it we have to make this cladding a little bit thicker that's why we make the thickness by this value and then we also add a groove to it and make the thickness of the groove a little bit higher so so and if you look on this um, cladding you don't see the material behind it so that's how you can do your cladding and exterior on your walls in the Ashipack Pro version. If this video helped you, give it a like. It gives me motivation for the future to share my experience in Ashipack. Thank you for bearing with me and keep it making.